Alright, this is my 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton uh, wagon go-kart. Uh, I built this like 10 years ago, or, or more, so it was one of the first things I ever built. Um, it's, a, it's an old wagon, great Hamilton Greyhound uh, wagon body. The front front end from a riding lawnmower, riding tractor. I cut it in half and welded it back together a little bit shorter to fit the wagon. The steering I probably would have did different if I were to do it again, but it works pretty good. This is a neck from a bicycle. It's turned upside down and the the jam nuts are on the the jam nuts are on the bottom there. So I cut the forks off on the top and welded the, the stuff on there. Just a T handle and this is the throttle. Doesn't have a brake. I just connected it here with bolts. It's pretty simple. The frame is just a bed frame, old bed frame. Angle iron. It's pretty flexible so when you're riding it kind of flexes all over the place so it kind of works as a suspension. So it's pretty good for my terrain but square tube would work, would be stiffer if that's what you wanted. And it's a, I think it's a peerless differential, but cheaper kind. Uh, it works good. I don't even have any bearings on it. I think these are bushings. Yeah, they might be bearings, but they're just bolted right to it. And the wheelie bars, this is from a bicycle, back, back end of a bicycle with a skate wheel on it. And that's just attached to the frame, not the body. The only place the body's really attached is the front here. A couple of screws and the engine, and the engine bolts hold it on. I had to notch it out here to fit the bigger sprocket on when I first built it. So it's pretty tight in there. The chain is a number 40. I tried to put a number 41 on it but it just falls right off and gets jammed up in there. I think it's because this clutch is so worn out. But this, this chain holds on just fine. And the seat is uh made some brackets bolted to the head bolts there. It's a pain in the butt to work on but pretty reliable so I don't have to work on it too much. And the clearance here is tight so have some trouble getting that pull starter off when when I gotta work on it. I usually just take the engine off. And to adjust the chain tension I just put washers and bolts under here. It works. It's a lot of fun.